Welcome. The topic for this RMS support tutorial video is completing the exposure hour report for the contractor. Now let's get started. Exposure hours are the number of paid duty hours of all prime and subcontractor employees while at the work site. Unpaid hours count as exposure when employees are quartered on site. Exposure hour report requirements starts from the NTP date until completion date. RMS will create a line for each month on the first day of the subsequent month. Users will not be able to enter or complete a month's report until the first day of the following month. All QC dailies for the month need to be completed in order to copy the exposure hours to the report. To get started, select the contract you wish to view the exposure hour report. Navigate to QC, Exposure Hours. Select the exposure hour report you wish to complete. You have two options. You can copy the exposure hours into the report by clicking on the copy button. Note, all QC daily reports must be completed in order to copy over the exposure hours. If you get this message, you'll need to go back and complete the QC daily reports for the month. You can also manually update the hours for the exposure hour report. You can also edit the hours manually when you use the copy button. The next step is to put the submitter's name on who is submitting the report. Once the report is completed and the submitter's name is attached, check the completed ready to send to the government box. Click yes to mark the exposure hours as complete. This will generate the exposure hour report in the document package. Click OK. The report is not yet complete until the document package that was added to the report is completed. From here you can open up the document package to view the exposure hour report. Select the report and click on the View Document button. This is the Exposure Hour Report RMS generates. You can see here are the manually entered exposure hours. The Exposure Hour Report does need to be signed before submitting to the government. To do so, select the document, click on the Sign Selected button. Select the document, click Next. Select where you want to sign the document by double-clicking in the Digital Signature Position box to show the Ellipses button. You have multiple spots you can sign. Click OK. Click Finish. Here you'll enter your password and then click Sign. The report has now been signed. Click on the Finish button to complete. The next step is to submit the document package for review by clicking on the Submit for Review button. Once you click on the button, click Yes, and the report will now become read-only. You will not be able to edit the document packages or the report itself. You can check to see if the report was submitted properly to the government by checking the status. If it says it's in review, it was submitted to the government. Once you hit the Back button, the Exposure Hours report is now complete. In summary, we covered the purpose of the Exposure Hour report. We covered how to complete an Exposure Hour report. We thank you for watching and we hope you found this video informative.